right, let's get it. How about a little English? Uh, we take those. So we just blundered upon, we're gonna keep playing. I think we forgot it's three minute, not one minute. Okay. We'll go this way. I'm gonna hurt you. Real, real bad. How about there? Maybe we can get him to trade a little bit more, simplify the win for us. Okay, there we go. That gets it started. Maybe some Queen E7. Let's go ahead and do that. Prophylaxis against any any takes there. And how about Bishop D2? No real stress in the position at all. Black's got nothing that really sticks out as valuable for his time. Good time to do this. And this is where you fall down. All right. Do, 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 do. Uh-huh. Get the B. Get him. Easy does it. <clears throat> Easy does it. You don't necessarily when you take an advantage, have to just rush after your opponent like it's a boxing match where you're trying for a knockout. No need. You got points on the scorecard. Play defense, run out the rest of the match, win with your extra point. Here, my opponent played aggressively after getting down. Arguably, if he played this aggressively with a reasonable position, he'd stand an excellent chance. But, uh, this type of play, don't see how it's going to work for him. Let's go ahead and just cover the weaknesses, eh? Same sort of philosophy. Let's take the time to do that. Mm-hmm. Bishop's covered. I feel like that's still a good idea. 
Mm -hmm. That helps if we don't drop things. So overall, I felt my opponent was creative and aggressive, but hanging a pawn on move three, we can't be doing that. Is as you can see, the engine already gives a piece up in advantage. And it's hard for me to take a game like this seriously because I know I'm a piece up from the pawn. That's how big of a hole he's in. And I gave him unnecessary play with knight d4, but I just didn't see anything at any point in time for black. So the best he's got that's once we get to around this point is sacking the piece for play. Bishop e4 was a bit much. Should have just played king f2 immediately. And let's see. Bishop takes h7. King h8. I gotta come right back though, yeah? Nope. Queen g6. Nff2. See, this type of thing with checks all around. This is not something that humans consider. <laughs> that just doesn't doesn't seem right. Or, yeah, but more power too if you can see this type of thing. I guess you just end up getting safe. Yeah, it was just winning. But yeah, queen up two. Notice, I'm not spoiling anything and I'm killing counterplay. That's uh, that's the goal. And if you see a move like rook e8, all right, fine. You gonna try to run? Well, you lose the knight. Queen h4, okay, cool. The game was done, regardless. So, terrible sin upon loss, lots of blunders. Blunder, blunder, blunder. I think Lee Chess is getting more serious about the blunder checking, but overall we got another English game in the books and how to simplify the win when your opponent gives you a pawn on like move three. Solid. Don't take risk. Let them beat themselves.